<laughs> yeah, just just you don't even have to skip a whole day. Just skip about ten minutes. <laughs> Try, and suddenly <laughs> it will become the single most important, you know, it, the, the fact that it already is the most important thing you're doing will be dramatically, viscerally revealed to you, right? Yeah. So, um, breathing, 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 breathing. Um, I've been kind of, I haven't even talked to, to, to very many people at all publicly about this, but, but I'll, I'll throw this out there. I've been kind of throwing around in my brain lately that, that kind of the four different things that are going on that make us us is we have our emotional state we have our physiological processes we have our cognitive abilities and we have our breathing and or, or wait see i told you i hadn't talked about it much emotional state <laughs> um physiological processes five things physiological processes um cognitive ability breathing and posture or movement got those five different things and if we affect one of them, we can affect all of them at the same time. Sure. I mean, just, just literally, if I don't know if you can see this or not, but just literally, I'm going to ask everybody who's, who's watching just to you know, sit where you are and kind of hunch your shoulders around your chest and, and right. just kind of take stock of how you feel. Just go poor posture, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and you said poor posture. I didn't. I described factually what I want you to do, okay. and you you arrived at poor posture. Right. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mentally, mentally, I said do this, and you arrived at poor posture, not because someone told you it's poor posture, because it doesn't feel good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It just it right? doesn't feel right, and I can't breathe as now, well when I'm not when I'm not open chested. Exactly, and and you don't you don't even like sitting there just for the the few seconds that we were talking about. You no, see how I you kind of got fidgety and adjusted. Drives <laughs> okay. my shoulders crazy. <laughs> right. So then, if we adjust into this, suddenly we start to feel differently. Right. More confident. More able to take a better breath. Whatever. So just by adjusting that little bit of posture, we affect breathing. We affect emotional state. Um, and if you go deep enough into it and pay enough attention to it, you start affecting your cognitive abilities, your your awareness of what's going on, both both emotionally from a nonverbal sort of place and also um, from a like an intellectual problem solving sort of place. Um, posture and breathing affect those things. Yeah, that's you powerful. Know, it, it, yeah, and so, so if you're sitting here like this and I say, okay, listen really closely, pay attention. Most people are going to do what? They're going to sit up straight, right? They're going to sit up or even lean in, yeah, right? Yeah. So posture changed because their cognition and their emotional – um, involvement sure. changed. So all that stuff's interrelated anyway. And, yeah. and it's, it's one of those things that every person that I've talked to about, if they've gone, they've gone like, yeah, okay, I can see that. And, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And, and I'm like, yeah, but don't act like you thought of it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, seriously, whenever, whenever something becomes apparent to me and I tell people about it and they're like, yeah, okay, I can see that. And there's just there's not even any any idea of arguing. It's just like sure. it's just like that door over there is painted white and the doorknob is silver. And you're like, Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You know. Yeah, there's right. no arguing that no, it's actually eggshell, you know, none of that kind of stuff. Um, what I think happens is something like that's presented and it's so obvious that it's true that people just don't argue it. Right. Well, you know, but I they may I was gonna say, no, I, but 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 they may not have actually realized it in in fully descriptive, uh, matured right. terms like that. Right. Sure. I was gonna say that I I, re I had the same kind of premonition one time when I was watching Pumping Iron. All right, and that's mm -hmm. the Arnold Schwarzenegger documentary. And he's coaching this guy, and the guy's doing this this crossbow thing, but he's kind of collapsing in on his uh -huh. chest. It's clear that he's standing next to Arnold, and he's kind of embarrassed about not being as big as him. And Arnold's mm -hmm. like, no, no, you look like you look like you're embarrassed. Open your chest up, do this thing. And it was just kind of all of a sudden, like you know, hey, your emotional context is totally related to your posture. Absolutely, you're tying it even further with breathing and and more than that. But it's so funny that sometimes you think of somebody with bad posture as like, oh, I sit poorly for a long time. But what if you just aren't very happy with your chest, or you're trying to right. protect your heart by shrugging your shoulders? I mean, there's so many elements to it that can get pretty pretty out there. But I completely agree with you on that. And where we wind up with that, because we have sort of a reductionist, compartmentalized way of thinking, um, which goes along with our uh, just try harder, outwork the other guy kind of thing, right. is we want to know why. Well, why is my posture bad? Who cares? <laughs> it doesn't matter why it's that way. Your posture is bad, period. 
Yeah. <laughs> and it, it may not even be bad. It's, it's, it, it's just maybe it's not as good as you want it to be. And so therefore you define it as bad. You know, it right. doesn't matter why in most cases, unless you just really want to know why there's not a whole lot of reason for knowing why yeah. a better question to ask is, okay, my posture is bad. What does that mean? I don't like my posture this way. I would like to make my posture better. Okay. What can I do right now to make it better? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling well emotionally. I'm sad or I'm angry or I'm upset or I'm worried or anxious or whatever. Okay. Why? I don't care. What can I do to feel better? Because yeah. if we start saying why, then we just sort of validate the reasons Right, you're just and, you're creating justifications as to why I feel this way, or why I have bad posture, why I'm fat, why I'm sick, why I'm tired. So exactly, I'm and then the next thing you wind up with is the acceptance of something you don't want to accept, which is like just an involuntary acceptance of, well, I guess that's just how I am. I was born that In, way. I was born it's that my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your <laughs> genetics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your genetics, um, and. It's easy to accept some things that way, and, and that's fine. And it's not even a problem, I don't think, to accept some things that way. But the thing that I always go back to when, when I'm talking to someone and they're telling me that, that they, they don't want to be the way they are, they're not comfortable in their own skin, or they don't feel that they are fully expressing who they are with the way their life is, but I can't help it. That's just the way I am but I don't want to be this way, but that's just the way I am. I go back to, to like watching um, the skinheads and stuff on Jerry Springer. And you talked, you know, if, if, have you ever met any of those like white supremacist people? <laughs> no. You know, uh, I can't help it. That's just how I am. I don't like <laughs> fill in the blank with whoever they're hating on. Right. right, right. Well, just by virtue of the fact that you're saying that you can't help it, that negates the argument right there. Right. I mean, it, I can't help it that I'm, uh, that I was in a car accident and I'm paralyzed from the waist down. That's valid. Right. You know, but I, I just, I just can't get up in the morning to, to go to the gym and work out before I, I, I have to go to work. I'm just not a morning person. That's just how I am. No, you just don't want to do it. Yeah. Own that. Just own it. Yeah. And if you want to not do it, that's fine. Neither one of us are judging exactly. you, but just, just don't bullshit yourself. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And, and you will be a lot stronger here and here. If you just admit it to yourself that that's not what you want to do. Not that you can't help it, but I just don't want to, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And oh, if, yeah. if you've ever done any, Bud Jeffries, you know, Bud Jeffries. Yeah. Bud was passing through town the other day with his son, Noah, and they stopped here and they, they, we were, hanging out and uh um he had a bunch of steel in the car that he had been hauling around with him and and he gave me a particular piece and and said here give this a shot and see how it feels and, and so i bent this piece and i handed me another piece and so i wrapped it up and got myself gassed up and i laid into it and nothing happened and i just stopped and i said nope <laughs> i said <laughs> i said nope I, said, I might be able to bend it i don't know I might be able to, but I don't want to bad enough to try right now. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth it. It's just not that important to me right now. <laughs> yeah. And I'm okay with that, you know? Sure. Um, which I think that's sort of like the professional attitude towards it. You know, it's, it's okay. Maybe I'll bend it tomorrow. Maybe I'll bend it later today. Maybe I'll decide that that's the most important thing in my training for the next six months. And six months from now, I'll bend it. I don't know. But right now at this moment, I don't want to do it bad enough. Yeah. And And that's what you're telling me when you're telling me there's no way I could ever... I could ever take a 10 minute cold shower, much less jump in the weight, uh, in the water. All, all you're saying is you just don't want to do it. And that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But if you want to do it, we can show you how. <laughs> <laughs> well, David, man, I only got one question for you real quick. Uh, I got to cut it off there cause we're over 30 minutes, but that was fantastic. Just, you know, having people really understand that they need to own it or, or do something about it. That's really your only options right there. But uh, I always ask people this one question. So um, you're successful in the strength industry. You're a well-known name out there. You're obviously a very strong guy. You're obviously a very smart and cool guy as well. What's your secret to success, my man? The secret to success. Your secret to success. My secret to success. <laughs> um, find the thing that you have to do and do it. There's, 
there's something that's hardwired into all of us that we're like put on this earth to do that you're meant to do the thing that you can't imagine not doing it do that and and do it maximally be the biggest most wide open version of yourself doing that thing as you can and people will notice it's easy and 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 even if they don't notice if you're doing that thing even if you don't ever make a dime doing it if you're doing that thing as wide open and fully as you can be and you're benefiting from it and everyone else around you is benefiting from it you're successful whether you make you know 80 million dollars or or whether you just manage to pay your rent you'll be successful absolutely but but most of the time people who do that don't just scrape by <laughs> so true man success breeds success so just figure it out and if you don't know how to do it or you don't know what it is then uh you know go inside and and find that thing and once you figure out what it is figure out what is the next small step that you can take right now today to move in that direction awesome you know if if it's if it's if it's opening your own gym then what's the what's the next small step that you can do today you know it may mean looking on doing a web search and finding some articles on on how to set up a business plan or something i don't know but or if it's if it's lifting a particular weight or doing a thing you'll know, find somebody who knows more about it than you and learn what they know and figure out how to apply that to your situation to take the next small step in the direction you want to go that's it man david whitley the iron tamer where can my that's people me. find you um, Nashville, Tennessee, most of the time, <laughs> um, um, website, irontamer.com, uh, strengthdojo.com, nashvillekettlebell.com. I'm on Facebook. I've got, uh, I've got a personal page, but so many people have been, have so kindly asked to be friends with me that I'm kind of tapped out on that. Um, but my professional page is Iron Tamer Dave Whitley on Facebook. I would love to just see that thing blow up. I've got a YouTube channel that, um, I put, various different acts of stupidity on, um, Twitter, iron tamer, uh, Instagram, iron tamer. Um, I'm all over the place, man. Awesome. Well, I'm sure that people can just find you by Googling David Whitley, David Whitley, my man. Thank you so much for getting on the call. I really appreciate you getting on the call and just chatting strength with us, man. I appreciate you having me on. Good luck to everybody. Cool. Thanks.